wrote this little uh, thing that she does. CF, CF Faith is a organization, and there's a lot of a lot of the people have written articles in that, and I find there's a lot of insight in that. And this here stood out to me today. So she said, "Who is who is responsible for the state?" She said, "America is in." But I can use Canada. So who who is responsible for the state that we see Canada in? She said we might want to we might want to um, tell say that Justin Trudeau is responsible, yeah. or um, society, or even the Supreme Court of Canada. But um, is that true? <coughs> she said people in the dark cannot attempt to operate in the light and now someone shines light into their lives. Oh. In the same way no man um, or government official and now and else I that and else are a Christian um, are able to push back the darkness. Mm -hmm. They aren't able to do that um, that we see in this world. So the only thing that will mm -hmm. push back the kingdom of darkness so the church is responsible for the state that we see our our, our government in. Our, the, um, and that means it's our job as the church of the living God to rise up and be light to those around us. And, and we all know this, but it just, um, sometimes things stand out and speak to you. And, and we know that we have the authority, but how much are we activating? that authority that we've been given. Um, we have authority in the world. She said, um, on the throne of God, there is a position. And God has put us next to him at that right hand. That is an enthroned position. It's a complete uh, position of authority. And it speaks of authority, authority, authority. And when we read Ephesians 1.19, to 21 it says and, she, and I'm not sure which version this is but it says so that you can know and understand what is the immeasurable and unlimited and surpassing greatness of his power in and for us who believe as demonstrated in the working of his mighty strength which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and he seated him at his own right hand in heavenly places far above all rule and authority power, dominion, and every name that is named, above every title that can be conferred, not only in this age and in this world, but also in the age and the world which is to come. And then in Ephesians 2, 6, it says, and we, he raised us up together with him and made us sit down, giving us joint seating with Christ <coughs> in heavenly sphere by virtue of our being in Christ Jesus, the Messiah, the Anointed One. So we're seated next to Jesus, and by us being in him, he gives us the authority. But that authority doesn't automatically win us every victory. Just because we have the authority doesn't mean that we always win. Um, we have to activate that authority that we have. And, and then she talks about it in ex Exodus in chapter 17, when Moses, and we all know the story, when Moses lifted up his rod when the, and the Israelites were, would prevail, right? They would be winning. And when it, his hands were lowered yes. and he wasn't using that rod, the enemy would start to advance. He, Moses never lost his authority, right? When he had the authority, but he, if he wasn't using it and lifting up the authority, the enemy would advance. So when he acknowledged his authority, the enemy retreated and, and uh, God's people advanced. But just because he had the authority and he had a rod, but if, if he wasn't using the authority, if he wasn't activating that authority, they were losing, right? right. Once the Israelite leaders recognized the case, they fixed that. Yep. And, uh, and we all know that he had one on either side of him that helped hold up. So he would be in a constant position of it always being lifted up. Right. 
Where the church is concerned, we have to acknowledge and walk in our dominion and authority. If we see the enemy get, begin to advance somewhere, it's because we're not using all of the authority that we have. <coughs> um, transferring that to Canada or any other nation, um, if the church has a position that Jesus <laughs> spiritually granted to us, it's an eternal position. It never changes. If we don't operate in the authority of that position, the spirit of lawlessness will start to advance and it will start creeping in just as these Israelites begin to see when Moses can use his authority what happened. She says, I've noticed that darkness approaches slowly and we all know that and more things are being exposed and the more that you see what's happening world today, you can see how the enemy has been subtle and it's been coming in and, the, and we haven't been recognizing mm -hmm. what he's been doing until now. Mm -hmm. right. And now he's not even being subtle. Not at he's all. just full out mm -hmm. doing yeah. what he does. And uh, But that's happened over many years. That hasn't just started right. happening. That's been yeah. happening mm -hmm. for a while. Right. It never jumps like a leapfrog. Right. It's a subtle thing, and we look back over the years and we think, oh my goodness, this is what's been happening. Yeah. She said, um, I, my daughter, her daughter-in-law called her, and must call her Mimi, and she said, Mimi, she said, I'm horrified. They are putting a mosque up in our community, mm -hmm. wherever they live. And she said, well, whose fault's that? Um, who's responsible for that now? She said to her, if we don't like what's happening in our neighborhood, yes. if we don't like what we're seeing, if we don't like our city or some of the rules and the regulations and the laws that they're, even our city council are, are putting down, do we just watch the news at night, take out a box of Kleenex? Or do we use our authority and win? Remember, um, Second Thessalonians said, the spirit of lawlessness the Antichrist will not fully manifest while the church is here. We, the restraining force, are to go into action and to hold him back by using our rod and position of authority. Yes. And sometimes I have to think about that because we know how the story ends and we know that what has been prophesied in the Bible is going to come to pass and we know the Antichrist and whatnot. And sometimes I have to you have to think, well, it's going to happen anyway, right? Mm -hmm. But we we have the authority and the position to hold back the lawless one, to hold him back, and 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 we're to do it. God gave us that authority and that power, okay. and we're not just to sit on it, we're to, to use it right. um, to keep back that which that it, which is could happen. Mm -hmm. And it's not just for one person to do it. No, it's for church, everybody working together, every nation, every country, um, God's planted people in every place in the world that have the authority and the power. We're, we're not the only Christians in New Brunswick, right? He's given that position to anybody that has received him as his Lord and Savior. The church has been strategically planted throughout the world, and each and every member is to use their authority, yes. and that praying for our nation. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. So short, but there's a, there, stuff. there is stuff in it that yeah, yeah. we need to take heed to and <clears throat> and activate our authority. Mm -hmm. Use the authority and the power that, mm -hmm. and, and that comes with revelation that we really know what power and authority that we have, right? Yes. 